Hello everyone. Today I will show you how to set up an Ethernet IP configuration between an Omron machine automation controllers NX102 with an Omron V430 code reader. I am Tom Trin, Senior Application Engineer for Valent Corporation. Let's get started. So first and foremost, you want to create two global variable and I already created here, but let me show you. So you want to create the first one as an EIP underscore in with an array of 84 bytes. Okay. And make sure that you select it as an input under network publish. Okay. You then want to create another one EIP underscore out with an array of 12 bytes. And under network publish, make sure you select output. So these are the two global variables that you use to communicate back and forth between the uh, PLC and an Omron uh, V430 code reader. So once you've done this, you want to launch the Ethernet IP configuration. So you want to select tools and select Ethernet IP connection setting. Since I'm connecting the Omron V430 code reader to the first port of the PLC, which is 192.168 to 50.1. So I want to click that. Okay. Then at this point, I want to add that uh, V430. And so I'm going to give it an address and that address will be 192.168 to 50.5. I'm going to select it from the this drop down and you want to select the v430-f and make sure you select the revision which is one and then click add once you've done that you want to go to the tech set here and you want a registration all so what it will do is basically see how it's automatically create the tech set for you here you still have to do one more you need to click register here so once you've done that, you want to go down to the connection and under the connection, you click the plus sign. I click uh, one too many, so I'm going to uh, delete one of them. Okay. And then under target device, you click the arrow down and you select the V430F that you just added over here. Once you've done that, the target variable for the input, you want to select 100 assembly for the input. And the variable that you use will be EIP underscore in that you created already in the global variable. And then for the output, you want to use the 198 assembly for the output. And under originator variable, you want to select EIP out. So once you've done this, what you want to do is to go online with the PLC by clicking this icon or you select controller and go online. But I'm going to click this for now. So now you online. So what you want to do to transfer your setup to the controller by selecting this transfer to controller okay so you want to select the first one execute the transfer to the controller operation in run mode then you want to probably compare make sure everything is good so it's successfully download your configuration you want to click ok now, at this point, you probably want to synchronize down your uh, setup for the global variable that you set up with the program. I already done that for you. Otherwise, you're going to select the transfer to controller. So I'm going to get out of this. At this point, we are ready to uh, check it out. So. 
in my program, I have one instruction that I use to basically convert the array to the string. So the data is coming into the EIP in. So I'm converting that to a string and that is store that result into the variable called data. So let me show you what we have here. So what I can do at this point, I'm going to show you both the windows for, so you can see the camera as well. So here we go. So that's the camera. I need to resize my windows here as well. So you can see both. Let me zoom in here a little bit. Okay. So at this point, what I can do now is, so I'm going to go ahead and trigger this. So bit uh, zero of the byte EIP and the out, the, uh, the element number four is basically the trigger. So as soon as I put one here, it will trigger the camera and it will capture. Do it again. Okay. There you go. So, so it read the code and that code is NPA 351-09. Now, if I go here and toggle my bit here, There you go. The data is, that I'm seeing is NPA 351-09 on my PLC side now. So let me turn it around so it has another code here. I'm going to trigger it again using my bit here. Here we go. So this one is NPA 352-09. And if I go here and follow this, I have MPA 352-09. So that's how you set up the Ethernet IP configuration for the Omron Machine Automation Controller NX102 and Omron V430 Code Reader. If you have any questions, please call us at the number below. Thanks for watching.